Time now for a uh, segment that we call Beyond the Yellow Ribbon. This is a program pioneered by the Minnesota National Guard. It supports our troop, and part of, part of the program is called Defending the Blue Line. Take a look. To many in Minnesota, hockey is more than an activity. It's a passion. It's a, a lifestyle. It's, it's more than just, hey, I like that sport. It, it's what our house revolves around. It's, it's what our family re revolves around and, and just a super great time for us. Shane Hudella lives in Hastings and celebrates the game like a true Minnesotan. It's uh, one of the biggest things in my life. It's no secret. Um, I've got four boys, three out of the four skate. I skate a few times a week in a, in a couple of different leagues. Shane has quite the commitment to the game. He's a traditional soldier and recently left his active duty position with the National Guard in pursuit of his dream to provide military kids with hockey equipment. Spring of 2009, me and a, a couple military buddies that were interested in hockey uh, had that passion and obviously very passionate about serving our country and in the uh, service members that we work with every day. Uh, decided that, hey, hockey is so expensive and we've seen a number of our friends and comrades have deployed multiple times since 9-11. Uh, it sparked the interest of how can we help them out? Um, how can we take something in the state of hockey here where there's so much passion about uh, our military but also for hockey uh, and try and use all, all the giving and good that comes out of Minnesota to help our service members out. And they did more than help. Shane and his friends founded Defending the Blue Line. We're an organization created by soldiers with the spirit of keeping hockey alive for the children of our nation's heroes. Their mission started with military families in Minnesota and the surrounding states by providing new hockey gear, summer camps, and even cash grants to help with association fees or NHL tickets. As Shane has been able to focus his efforts full time, the program has started to spread all across the country. The one piece of it that's by far the most enjoyable is dealing with the families. Um, we deal with families from all the services, all walks of life, um, just have some incredibly compelling stories of uh, folks that are deployed or traveling crazy distances to come here and get their equipment or just their kids being comfortable with going to a summer camp and being around other military kids because they kind of understand some of the challenges that they face. Because of defending the Blue Line's tremendous efforts and Shane's passion for hockey, military kids are getting an opportunity to be a part of the team and to some, he's heroic. I really feel like it's important work. There's so many military members in Minnesota and other parts of the country that um, it makes a difference. It makes a difference for their kid and whether or not they play hockey. And that's, that's worth the risk for me and the family to take to help keep those kids in the game. So do I feel like a Superman? No, not at all. I feel very lucky to get to do something that I love doing. Shane and Defending the Blue Line are just one of many nonprofit organizations headquartered in Minnesota whose mission is to support military families.